Hi, and good afternoon. I'm Jason, and I have a plant combination to share with you. I am on the north side of a property, and, uh, and you know, the north side can be a little bit tricky when um, planting just because it doesn't get as much sunlight. Um, you know, plants that do well in full sun, sun or part sun, you know, they don't always wanna be on the north side of the property because that's where you essentially get the least light, especially the north side against your house. So whatever wall is, is the north side right against the wall, um, it's, you know, that's your shadiest part of your garden throughout the year. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through some combos. What we have is um, right here, um, and some of these are young, actually they're all kind of young plantings, um, but we have a, um, what's really neat here is it's called Dixonia Antarctica. It's the Tasmanian tree fern. This is a very young one, you know, it's small and hugging the ground right now, but it'll come up on a big, um, you know, tr uh, trunk um, and it'll get relatively tall. So, and it'll get a lot larger. But um, there's that, which is really nice on the north side. Uh, once they get established, they're very hardy. Um, I have a small new um, plant to go in the ground. This is a Heuchera maxima. Here's one that's been in the ground for about a year. It's gotten, you know, much larger. Um, Heuchera maxima is also known as the island alum root. And this plant is awesome. The spring show through the summer that it puts on with its flower spikes, their pink and white flower spikes that come out of it, are just incredible. And this plant, this heuchera, is the toughest heuchera that I know of. It just blooms and blooms once it starts blooming. And it grows in those tough spots, you know, where it's shady and where it's maybe where you don't get as much water. Um, it is an awesome plant. Um, there's a small hydrangea back there uh, that will grow in and fill in this area. And then right here, um, this plant that's just getting taller and taller is Ribes sanguinium, the variety Claremont. Um, this is just, you know, it's some nice green foliage, you know, and um, it's semi-fragrant to the touch. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's kind of at the end of its season. Um, it's semi-deciduous, so the leaves will probably fall off soon. Um, its main show begins in the spring when it, you know, just bursts with panicles of pink and white flowers all over it that hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies are just magnets to, um, you know, and so that's a great choice. Um, and there's a strawberry, you know, a nice ground cover to fill in the ground area that um, is not covered by plants. Uh, you know, the mulch, there's some leaf fall because the, the nearby elm tree has, has started to drop its leaves. Uh, once they've all dropped though, I do plan on covering it with another mulch. Um, we have some rose pelargonium here. This, uh, that plant in particular does want more light. Um, I'm probably going to move that and change it out to something else. Um, we have, uh, yeah, it's, so these are just, this, this is just a simple combo. Um, there's another heuchera called um, Coral Bells. It's a smaller heuchera. Um, it's, a, it's a nice choice. I like the flowers. They're a really nice color when they bloom. But, you know, I just can't get enough of heuchera maxima. I'm actually, like, spreading that throughout the garden just because it performs so well. You can use it on the north side in shady spots on slopes. Uh, it's a really cool plant. Um, but yeah, those are just some, um, some quick ideas on a north side combo. Um, there's so many different ones to choose from, but this is one that's super hardy. You know, the combination of the Tasmanian tree fern with a heuchera maxima with, um, you know, a nice hydrangea and your ribes. You know, you could just do all of two of those if you wanted. If you just wanted to do, um, you know, the heuchera maxima with the ribe sanguinium, that's a nice combo. If you wanted to have a low growing spreading ground cover with a, you know, with a native strawberry plant, um, that's a cool combo as well. Um, if you wanted to just have the hydrangeas with the ribes, I mean, there's so many ways you can just, you know, play it up. You can also, if you have a larger Tasmanian tree fern um, and you want to have that be the focal point plant, you can plant ribes beneath it and then the heuchera maxima beneath that. Uh, and then flank it with, um, you know, different colored hydrangeas on both sides. Uh, so yeah, these are just some really great plants that thrive in less light, um, you know, which can be very difficult. So um, I hope that this has inspired you and given you some ideas on a north side planting. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you would like updates on my newest videos, please click that subscribe button. And once again, thank you so much for hanging out. My name is Jason.